European Union defense ministers met in Malta on Thursday to discuss ways of strengthening the bloc's defense capabilities. Defense spending by NATO's European allies has been declining since the collapse of the Soviet Union. But with the renewed Russian military threat on its eastern flank, Europe has sought to reverse the falling numbers. The EU foreign policy chief said citizens in the 28 member states were expecting more EU in the fields of security and defense. If you ask not only the governments, but if you ask the European citizens, uh, the European citizens clearly indicate the field of foreign policy, security and defense as the field where the European Union added value is absolutely uh, not in discussion. They want to see more European Union in the field of foreign policy, security and defense, and this is what we're doing. According to a study of EU voting behavior, support for European security and defense is especially high in the East. At the same time, NATO's Secretary General stressed that, despite differences between some member states, they've always had one unwavering agreement. And uh, the strength of, you, uh, of NATO is that we are uh, 28 democracies, where there are different political parties, different views on many things, but we have always been able uh, to agree on the most important thing, and that is that we defend each other, uh, we stand together, uh, based on the idea of one for all, all for one. In the past year, the decision by the United Kingdom to exit the European Union and the election of Donald Trump as United States president have put some member states on edge. However, both the UK and the US have stressed their commitment to NATO and their European partners.